Okay guys, I know you've been waiting for some videos on the kidney, so let's go over some of these models here. Right here we're looking at the kidneys, the way they sit in the body. And you can follow the ureters down to the bladder, which is right here. And then here you see your urethra leaving the bladder. So this is your inferior vena cava. This is your aorta coming through the diaphragm. That's what this little muscle is here. So this would be the abdominal aorta, and you've got your three main branches, one, or your three unpaired branches, one, two, three. So those are celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery, inferior mesenteric artery. You would have some gonadal arteries coming off here, paired gonadal arteries on either side. And then we can see another paired branch, which is your renal artery. So the red one here is the renal artery on the left. This one peeking out underneath is the renal artery on the right. And then you can see your renal veins coming from right and left, dumping right into the inferior vena cava. These holes up here are for the entrance of those hepatic veins coming from the liver, carrying the freshly cleaned blood. Here's your two kidneys adrenal glands sitting on top and on this one you can even see a suprarenal vein or adrenal vein. You'd also have arteries here as well. Here's your ureter leaving the kidney coming down to the bladder. Okay, so here's our bladder. We've got our detrusor muscle here. We've got the rugae on the wall of the bladder. We've got our trigone here on the posterior aspect, the smooth area. These little holes are the entrances for your ureters. So this is where the urine's coming in. Here's your urethra. This is the prostate gland, which is going to go around the urethra. Right here is the neck of the bladder, where it becomes th skinny. And then this piece of muscle that surrounds that neck is the internal urethral sphincter. This would be the prostatic urethra because it's in the prostate. So this model is a male. These tubes right here on top of the bladder are actually the vas deferens or ductus deferens. And if we turn this sideways, you can see on the side of the bladder there, I don't know how well you can see it, right here, kind of behind the bladder, that's your seminal vesicle. And we'll talk more about that in, with reproductive, but this is the ureter. This is the vas deferens, and this is the seminal vesicle. Ah. On our kidney, you can see the cortex here, the renal pyramids here. On this one, you've got the capsule, that's the brown. This would be the hilus. At the ends of these pyramids, you have your papilla, so that would be right there. And remember, the urine's going to come out of that papilla and drain into these spaces here called the minor calyces. These minor calyx will come together to form a major calyx, the larger space here. And the major calyxes will come together to form the pelvis, the renal pelvis. That renal pelvis will drain into the ureter. And you've got some vessels on this model on the kidney, but we're going to look at those in more detail on a bigger model. This is just a different view, same stuff. Abdominal aorta, celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery, inferior vena cava, left renal vein, right renal vein left renal artery, right renal artery, left suprarenal artery and vein, going to your adrenal gland, right suprarenal artery, and here's a vein going to the adrenal gland, capsule, hilus, ureter. Here's your ureter here. You can see the renal cortex, the renal medulla with your pyramids here, minor calyx at the end of each of those papilla right here, major calyx here, here, renal pelvis here, and then your ureter here.
Here's just a different type of kidney. We have the adrenal gland, but it's cut, so you can actually see what it looks like on the outside. Here's the cortex and the medulla of the adrenal gland. Here's your renal pyramids. These are nice because you can actually see them in 3D. Here's your renal artery, renal vein, renal pelvis, ureter. Here's your minor calyces and your major calyx. And you can even see some of your segmental arteries in here. Cortex, medulla, capsule, fibrous capsule. And believe it or not, this little guy right here has tons of stuff on it. Here we can see our abdominal aorta with your renal vein coming over. This is the left kidney. So here is that left gonadal vein that comes straight up into the left renal vein. That's different on the right. This gonadal vein actually goes right into the inferior vena cava. So here we can actually see the paired gonadal arteries as well. And we can see our three unpaired branches, celiac trunk with its three branches, left gastric, splenic, and common hepatic. This is superior mesenteric artery. And down here we can even see inferior mesenteric artery coming off. And then, of course, renal artery here, adrenal artery or suprarenal artery here, and suprarenal vein here. Hylus, you can see part of the adipose capsule here. This would just be your fibrous capsule. Here's your ureter down here, and here's your adrenal gland. If we flip this over, you can see the ureter exiting the hylus, adrenal gland, and renal artery here, and then renal vein in the back. If we look at it on the inside, you can see your renal cortex, your renal medulla with your pyramids, in this case are pink, and your papilla on the end. Minor calyx, minor calyx, minor calyx, minor calyx, minor calyx, minor calyx, minor calyx. This would be a major calyx here because you have minor calyces coming together. This would be another major calyx because you have minor calyces coming together. And this area right here would be your renal pelvis.